Hey, good morning, guys. Greg Christensen here, Greg V Livestock. We're uh, gonna load out another load today and uh, head to Norwood, Missouri. So, uh, it'll be a combination of sheep and goats on this load. Um, we'll see how the market is. I always get a lot of people watching these marketing videos or, or sale barn videos. And I like to get up a little bit earlier and feed everybody. It's a four hour trip down there. And I want them to be full when they leave. So they're just not all drawn up and gant looking by the time they go through the sale. So we'll feed them uh, this morning. Probably feed them a little bit extra. Get everybody up and woke up and up here to the feed bunk. Pretty sunrise this morning. And uh, the ground's at least frozen up. It's 20, about 20 degrees, I think, out here. Just about right. Because we had a lot of rain, but now it's not muddy. I don't like the animals to be muddied uh, when they go through the cell ring. I like them to look clean and fresh. And that's why we don't keep them in a a muddy lot before the sale either. These have been turned out on this little grass trap and then they come into this pen to eat. So they're all kind of finishing up. We gave them a double dose of grain here this morning, a feed mix. It's a high fiber type of feed mix. There's several limp and we've experienced some uh, when it's muddy in the daytime they get the mud packed in between their hooves and then it freezes at night and uh, it causes their foot to be sore. Hopefully they get on the truck and the time they get there that won't be an issue anymore. They won't be limping too bad. Um, and usually when they go through the cell ring their adrenaline's kind of flowing and they don't show the limp anyways if they if it is a little bit still there. Well, the parking lot's plumb full here at the sale. <clears throat> we changed their sales to Saturdays at one o'clock. And uh, so they're having second Saturday and the fourth Saturday of the month it's at uh, one o'clock so they'll probably get a bigger crowd Looks like they got quite a few in here today. I don't know. Probably a thousand anyway. So well, there's a pen of uh, some of our kid goats there. And next to them here's a bunch of our lambs. Next to those, a bunch of other kid goats we brought in. Thank you, thank you, 
Pretty full today. A few empty seats, but a lot of people standing too. Looks like breeding stock still pretty good value. Number one thirty four. You want all of them? Count them outside. That's for the ewe and the lamb. So, so 120 for the ewe and another 120 for the lamb. Jeff, you want them all? Nah. This is good. Here comes our weather lambs through here. About a little bit more what they sold for them back in uh, in this December. Three twenty. 
Fancy with the Fancy, it's Freedom Cubby. Every 20 Fancy, you leave with the Fancy, 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 Get a good count on them, get the weight right. Thirty-two fifty, 
Yeah, they sold that like the rest of them. There should be 72 total. These are some bigger ones that weigh about 75. The others weigh about 65. Yeah, we got about a four hour ride home. 